Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a car evaporation effect easy in After Effects. Let's begin. First of all let's grab a roto brush tool and double click on your car clip. Now make sure to rotoscope the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done, make sure to check invert foreground slash background to invert the selection and then click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, we can close rotoscoping window and then duplicate roto brushed layer and rename top one to car only. Now grab a roto brush tool again and double click on car only layer. Unfreeze the selection and then uncheck invert foreground slash background and then hit on freeze button again. Once the freezing is done, we can close rotoscoping window and then make sure to pre-compose car only layer. Let's correct the name and make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. While car only layer is selected, go to layer and click on auto trace. Copy my settings and then hit OK. Wait for a second or two and it will create a smooth mask of the car. Now let's toggle off car only layer for a while and then select your bottom rotoscope layer. And now we will need to remove the car from a background. So under a content aware fill, make sure to click on create reference frame. That will open a Photoshop for us. In a Photoshop grab a remove tool and remove that transparent car here. Once you are happy with the image, go to file and click on save. We can now close Photoshop and go back to AE. Under a content aware fill, copy my settings and then hit on generate fill layer and wait until analyzing is done. Once it's done, we can check the video if the car is removed properly. And as you see in my case content aware fill did a great job. Now we can toggle on car only layer and make sure to move it above fill layer. Let's expand mask settings on car only layer now. Click on mask expansion stopwatch icon and then make sure to change mask mode to subtract. Begin decreasing mask expansion until the car is fully visible. Now scroll to the end of a car only layer and begin increasing mask expansion until you don't see the car. Let's quickly check what it looks like. A few more adjustments and we are done, but first make sure to scroll somewhere in the middle so we can see the car like that and then increase feather. I think 50 will look fine. Now let's add a turbulent displace effect. Let me toggle off masks from here so we can see changes better. Now change displacement to turbulent smoother. Now let's scroll to the very beginning of a car only layer and then click on amount stopwatch icon and change amount to zero. Let's scroll to the end or near to the end and change amount to 50. Change size to 1000. If you play back the video, you will see that the car goes down. To make it float, I will change evolution to 90 degrees. Note, in your case it can be different value and make sure to change evolution until car floats like in the video. Now change complexity to 10 and then we can check the video again. We are almost done, scroll to the very beginning of car only layer and apply find edges effect. Under a find edges effect, check invert and then bump up blend with original to 100% and click on a stopwatch icon here. Now scroll to the end and change blend with original to 0%. Let's check it one more time. That looks way better. We can also bump up a quality of a turbulent displace, make sure to set anti-aliasing for best quality to high. Now if we scroll forward near to the end before the effect ends, you will see a weird shape of a turbulent displace and we have to fix it as well. Press T on your keyboard and click on opacity stopwatch icon. Then scroll to the very end of car only layer and change opacity to 0%. Let's check it one more time. It's still there. I will drag opacity keyframes backward a bit and then we can check one more time. Now that's better. Finally we can add a shadow effect and we are done. Duplicate car only layer and rename bottom one to shadow. On a shadow layer, under a turbulent displace effect I will change evolution back to zero, cause I don't want my shadows to float with the effect. Now apply fill effect on shadow layer. Change color to black. Let's decrease opacity to around 40% and then apply Gaussian blur effect. Bump up blurriness to around 90 maybe and then let's check the effect. And we are done. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.